Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. This tutorial is going to look at the uh, setup screen for the EQ Mod ASCOM driver, or EQ ASCOM as we know it. Uh, this setup screen contains parameters that the driver needs to know of before it's actually started. Uh, so the first question is, is really, how do we actually access the startup screen, given that the driver isn't running? Uh, you'll be pleased to know that there are three ways, or at least three ways, to, to, to get to the setup screen. The first way is using the ASCOM platform. If I'm ASCOM client, I choose to which driver I'm going to connect to using this select button. What happens is this window here pops up. Now, this is part of the ASCOM platform itself. It's got nothing to do with the planetarium. Um, the planetarium is just using the platform to bring up this ASCOM telescope chooser um, window. So all sorts of different ASCOM clients will bring this window up. Um, it's, it's a pretty standard thing that you'll see. And from here you would normally pick your uh, driver and click OK. Uh, but you can also click the Properties button. And if you click the Properties button, up will pop the uh, EQMod ASCOM driver setup screen. OK. That's one way in which we get to that screen. So this is a standard window. You'll see it in all sorts of different planetarium pr programs. Uh, guiding programs and, and, uh, and the like. Put that down. The second way you can uh, get to the setup screen is using a script that is installed with EQMod. Now, if we go to the start button, program files, EQMod, EQ ASCOM, scripts, you'll see that there are a few different scripts that apply to both the simulator and the main driver and one of those is setup so if we click on it that will pop the setup screen the third way of getting to the setup screen is using the toolbox application and that also installs along with EQMod or EQ ASCOM. And this is a little executable that helps you manage your uh, any files, um, performs Windows registration, and I'll probably do that in another video in detail how to use this application. But one of the buttons it has is a driver setup, so you can select either the main driver or the simulator, click that one, bring up the setup screen. Okay, so now we know how to access the uh, setup screen, let's, let's have a look at what it does. Now, there's quite a lot of things on here, and it would take quite a long time to go through them all in detail. Some of them I intend to do separate videos for anyway, so we're going to leave the uh, site information, uh, GPS stuff for the moment. Uh, the gamepad configuration we can leave, because I should be covering that again. Uh, probably the ASCOM options, they're quite advanced. Uh, again, really need a, a, a separate video to, to explain all the ins and outs of them. Okay. Uh, mount options. At the moment, uh, EQ ASCOM only supports Cinta EQ mounts. There is some work going on in the background to support other mount types, uh, and when that's finished, that'll be available via this drop-down. Uh, for the moment, because we only support the one type, it's greyed out, so there's, there's nothing much to, to do here. Port details. We have to tell the driver what communications port, what serial port we're talking out of, and there are some parameters associated with that. The rate here, we have different rates. It's always uh, 9,600. I, I don't know why we have a drop-down there, really. Um, it should always be 9,600. 9, 
the timeout is uh, the timeout between messages. When a message is sent out, we wait a while, and if we don't get a response, we'll flag it as an error. You can put this up to 2,000. If you think you've got comms problems, just, just wind these things up to the maximum values and, and, and see if it, it, it helps. Retries. Each message that's sent out is, is retried, so if we do get a failure, we try again before we, we mark it as a total failure. Um, and the last thing is the, the port setting. Now, you need to, you obviously need to tell EQASCOM which COM port to talk out of. Um, if you know, you can select it from the list. If you don't know, and you have the mount powered up and connected, you can collect click this find button in which case EQASCOM will go and try all of the COM ports it can find and this can take a little while as you can see it's searching it's now trying COM2 and I'm afraid we're just going to have to sit here and wait now here we are COM5 searching and it's found it it's found the mount. Uh, if you try this and it goes through all the COM ports and it says not found, then you've got a communications problem and it's probably time to start checking your um, drivers uh, and cables. Okay, that uh, is all of the port detail stuff covered. General options. Now, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, the auto allow meridian flip. Uh, this enables another feature within the driver itself uh, that allows you to select whether you want a flip to occur. This button itself doesn't enable the flip, but it enables the option to enable the flip. Um, when we originally discussed about putting a, a, a meridian an automatic meridian flip into EQASCOM. Some people were concerned that they might accidentally um, check that option uh, and they did definitely didn't want flips. So by putting this this checkbox within the setup screen uh, it kind of provides a double lockout. Uh, you, you've got to have basically checked this option and another option within the uh, driver interface itself before a meridian automatic and meridian flip will be performed. Windows process priority. Uh, all applications that are running under Windows are appear to be running simultaneously. So they all need a bit of time in which to execute. By changing the process priority we can give EQASCOM uh, more time than other things or other applications that are also running. Again, if you've got communications problems, it may well be worth bumping this thing up to high or real time. Um, particularly if you've got uh, a nice modern PC that's, that's that's capable of running fast, that, that, that there's no reason why you probably shouldn't put it onto real time. This this will mean that EQASCOM has a very high priority, and you know, if you're using this to control your mount and do limit protection, you really want it to be a <coughs> to get as much priority as possible. The language section, uh, EQSCOM includes language translations. And if you're in Spain, for instance, it will automatically load up with a Spanish uh, language translation. If you want to override it at any point to English, you can do that from this, this box here. So sometimes there are issues caused by the translations, and it's, it's a handy thing for, for, for people in, in, in non-English speaking countries to be able to override it to English to see uh, if, if that resolves any issues. Okay, uh, sloop resets. This is where we define uh, the rate at which each one of our presets will slew the mount. By default we have four uh, presets. Preset 1 will move them at uh, sidereal rate. Preset 2 at 8 times sidereal. 
preset 3 at 64 times sidereal, and preset 4 at 800 times sidereal, which is the maximum we, we can do. If you decide that you, you want to change some of these, or, you, or you'd rather have five presets, then you just change the number of presets th that you want, uh, and then we've added number five, we can select what rate we'd like it to go at. So we might say, well, number five, I'd like it to go at half sidereal rate. And you just click the set button. And in this way, you, you can customize the speed at which your mount will move for each of these presets. And that's going to be down to personal taste and also what kind of equipment you're, you're, you're using on your mount. Uh, update notifications. If you have a, a, an internet connection, um, then EQASCOM can automatically check if there have been any new releases of uh, driver software, and it will inform you on the uh, normal EQASCOM interface. A little button pops up that says Updates. You can register to receive no uh, no notification of either full releases or test releases. Full releases are the ones that are made to the uh, Source Forge site. Test releases are the one that's ones that are made to the Yahoo group, um, and may be considered perhaps a little less stable than the, the full releases. Or you can turn this feature off altogether. Um, some people don't don't want uh, software popping up and, and telling you there's new releases. Okay, the other option we've got here is show advanced options, and clicking this enables extra features within the driver. Uh, it also enables one extra feature within this screen itself, uh, and this is the custom mount settings. 